Hello everyone, Shun Jabril here on Shane Believer 390, and you are watching my very first tutorial. Now, being that this is my first tutorial, I'm anticipating that this will be a disaster, but thank you very much for watching, and I hope that this tutorial will help you learn what you came here to learn. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to cover five basic points that are that I believe are essential to um are essential to starting After Effects. So if you just got After Effects and you're overwhelmed by what you see or you want After Effects and you're overwhelmed by what you see, um, I believe this five points will help you in this five points or tips will help you get started and get the ball rolling on your After Effects journey. So yeah, well, let's get started. So the first point is starting your project. If you want to start a brand new project, just go to File, New, New Projects. And when you've done that, the first thing you want to do is Composition, New Composition. And then this box is going to, this box with information is going to open up. And over here is where you can set the preset for your composition. Now they have a bunch of options, a wide variety of options you can choose from but for me personally I like to use the HDV HDTV 720 25 frames per second option or preset uh, it's very good I use it for a majority of my videos it's HD and it works very well and below here is where you can set the duration for your composition it's very easy to change now it's 50 seconds and 11 milliseconds or an hour in 50 seconds and 11 milliseconds but yeah that's just where you set the duration for your composition and up here you can name it and when you're done and you like your settings click OK and there you go now your composition over here your timeline is the same exact settings 12 1280 by 720 25 frames per second now that's one way you can start a uh, project or if you're making like a music video or a typography video or a lyric video you can start your project by going to file import file and importing I'm just gonna find a random song here <sighs> and importing your song and then taking your song or video and dragging it in this new composition box. Now the the um, timeline is the same exact length as your song. 2 minutes 42 seconds. 2 minutes 42 seconds. And when you have that, you can go to composition settings and change the settings to how you like them. And if you want to make like an intro or outro to your song, just add a couple more seconds. And now you have extra space in your timeline and just move it a little bit. And now you have space to make your intro and space to make your outro. So that those are the two ways you can start a project. And let me just show you an example with a video. Let's import this. This usually shows up bad when I import this video. But yeah, when you've imported your video, drag in the same spot. And now a new composition is made with the same exact length as your video so the next point is importing now, I already covered that a little bit and I've said it like six times already but to import I'll just go through it again to import <clears throat> you go to file import file and you can import your videos pictures um, music just anything you want to use in in your project and when you've imported it imported your stuff it's gonna be in this area so even your compositions, your compositions that you made are in this area. So to use it in your video, you can either drag it in your um, composition box or in your timeline. And that's how you can add your elements, your song and stuff in your video. So the next point is layers. Now for everything you have in your timeline, a new layer is going to be created for it. Like the song, a new layer is created for that song so if I'm putting this um, image to stop sign a new layer has been created for it or if I use a type tool and type my name now a new layer has been created or if I put in the video 
a new layer has been created now what you can do with those layers is if you find an effect that you want here you can drag it in the layer or over here in there or there for the layer and now all the effects are going to show up over here for their um, layers so let's say I put in like here's, an, here's the other way you can add effects just go to effects here now all the effects are here see how the effect the fill effect showed up so yeah just all your effects are here and just drag it in your layers and this is where your layers where you're gonna do all the like animations for that element in your project so yeah so the next point is keyframes now keyframes are really the most important one of the most important things in After Effects um because this is how you how you're gonna do all your animation and just make your effects look very nice and very professional looking and not just be kid like because that's the opposite of professional but um with keyframes I can't really explain it with words but I can definitely show you so if I pull down the transform properties with the anchor point position scale rotation opacity they each have a stopwatch button next to it even the effects up here they have a stopwatch button next to it now I'm gonna use the position as an example so if I click on the position for the oh no my bad excuse me I'm very tired so if I click on the stopwatch for the position a keyframe is created and if I move forward in my timeline and click here you don't want to click here because that's gonna delete all your keyframes so click on the stopwatch once to start adding keyframes move forward in your timeline and click over here and now another keyframe is created so what you can do now is you can do you can animate the position or whatever you're at whatever um, property you're animating or moving and now from here to here from this keyframe to this keyframe you've animated the uh, position of the text so now you can you can even animate it in the uh, composition box so now you can just move forward and every time you move it a new keyframe is added so you can animate it there or there and now all those keyframes are literally just saying something is happening there now you can also do the same thing for like effects so for this fast player effect that I added if I click on a stopwatch here and also if you press U you can bring up all the uh, keyframes everything that has keyframes in it so if I click on a stopwatch for the fast blur move forward animate the fast blur for a little bit take it down bump it up bump it down bump it up bump it down and now like a little blurry spinning effect but yeah so that's what you can do with keyframes you can do with your effects the transform properties the um, virtual camera and after effects you can do a lot of really cool stuff with keyframes and that's pretty much the bulk of after effects when you learn keyframes you've learned like okay you've learned like two percent of after effects <laughs> i'm sorry but yeah that really does a lot in all seriousness keyframes do a lot and that's what you can do with them so my last point is previewing now there are three ways to preview in after effects you can hit you can hit i'm sorry you can hit space bar to preview just like if you just want to preview the um, animation just hit space bar and it previews the just the animation so if you have a song and you don't want to just and you don't want to hear the song just hit space bar and yeah, just gonna preview that animation or if you're making like a typography video and you want to or typography or lyric video or just any kind of video with music and song in it and you want the text to sync to the um, to sync with the song hit the control key now this is for PC I don't know how it is for Mac whatever the alternate is for control in Mac hit control and then take the um, time indicator and drag it and now you can hear words specifically so like Lecrae says yeah there <laughs> so now I can just drag the layer to that spot 
and it should come up now if you want to preview everything so if you want to see like if what you did there was correct if it comes up at the same time what you want to gonna what you want to use is ramp preview now ramp preview should be somewhere in this area but I move mine up here but uh, over here is where you can change the resolution for RAM preview I have mine at half because it previews faster um, they have full third quarter and over here is very important you want to make sure that the same the frame rate here is the same frame rate as your composition frame rate because you don't want to get a skewed preview so when that's good and when you like what you have just hit play and now it's previewing every single thing in that timeline so that's previewing those are the three ways you can preview in after effects so those are the five points starting your project importing layers keyframes and previewing and with those I think you can really get started with after effects if you don't if you didn't know where to start from so you can make some pretty cool stuff using those things and uh, yeah just mess around with after effects that's Honestly, that's what I did, and I watched a lot of tutorials, like a lot of tutorials. But uh, oh, and another thing: if you don't have After Effects and you really want to use it, um, if you go to Adobe's website and type in Adobe After Effects and click Try Now there, they have a free trial. I believe it's thirty days, and it's you can try it out. Um, it's pretty cool that they have that so just get that and uh, play with it and see how you like it and if you want it and you're a student Adobe gives out a student discount it's like 85% off I got that it saves a lot of money but if you're not a student ooh, I don't know what to say to save up but yeah that's the tutorial thank you very much for watching um, if you have any questions or comments or requests or if you've seen anything in one of my videos that I've made, um, feel free to ask me. Just comment below or message me and I'd be happy to help you out or make a tutorial video for you. Uh, now, I'm not saying I know everything with After Effects, but I do know a couple things. So, yeah, I'll be happy to just share what I know with you and help you out. So, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. And yeah, God bless. Peace.